Dogumentary TV, producing the best breed documentaries on YouTube. Hey, what's going on guys? This is Zeke, this is Dogumentary TV, the YouTube channel for dog lovers. If you wanna follow me on Instagram, Facebook, or Twitter, just search Dogumentary TV and you can find me there. Today I'm doing a video on best dogs for home protection without the need for additional training. I'm doing this video for two reasons. One, because you asked for it, and two, because I think it's a great subject to cover on this channel. A good home protection dog is what many of you guys are looking for in a pet. And with trained protection dogs costing as much as $50,000, for most of us that can be cost prohibitive. I know it's cost prohibitive for myself. So I put together a list of great home protectors that I believe will do a great job based on their natural instinct, basic obedience training, and proper socialization. Which means you do nothing more than what an average pet owner would do when having a pet. Uh, but you will have the added benefit of having a great home protector and a security system in your home. Natural instincts, aka genetics, are characteristics that were selected in a dog breed's development. Many breeds were selectively bred to be loyal, protective, and territorial, and those are great building blocks for a home protector. All dogs need basic obedience training. This training is important because all pets need a set of instructions and limitations. I call basic obedience basic communication. It establishes the what, when, and how your dog should behave and your ability to direct and control that behavior. Next, we're gonna want proper socialization in our home protector. This will give your dog the tools to recognize appropriate behavior in different environments. He will also be able to uh, identify when other people or other animals are not behaving properly and he can respond accordingly. Other things that I take into account when considering a good home protector is the dog's size, uh, Velcro breeds, and a breed's energy level. Size is important because the reality of it is that most home protectors will have to be man stoppers. You're going to want a dog that's going to be able to deal with a full grown man. Velcro breeds are great too because they are always by your side. The moment something goes down, you won't have to find your dog or call him to your side. He will always be there with you. That's especially great when you have small children who may not immediately recognize danger. Energy level is important for me because in most cases, high energy breeds are counterproductive in, in a family setting. Most families appreciate a calm, relaxing environment. You don't want your home protector to be a disruptor or distraction to your family's peace. For that reason, I have a spoiler for you guys. The Belgian Malinois and the Dutch Shepherd are not on my list. They both could be great home protectors, but I feel like they will need training and may cause disruptions in a typical family setting. This video consists of breeds that I believe make great home protectors. The order in which these breeds are presented is not chronological. This is not a ranking. Any of these breeds will do an excellent job as a home protector as well as being a great home companion. You should choose your breed based on your taste, your needs, your lifestyle, and your family's resources. So here are my 10 protection dogs. First, I wanna start with the Akita. Uh, the life expectancy of this breed is 10 to 15 years. The weight is about 75 pounds for a small female, up to 120 pounds for a large male. The Akita is said to be composed, dignified, aloof, and confident. The Akita is big enough to stop a man and athletic enough to chase him back out the window he snuck in through. He is devoted to and protective of his family, especially children, but can be aloof towards strangers and potentially aggressive towards dogs that he's not familiar with. So proper socialization will help prevent any unnecessary standoffishness or aggression. You're gonna to have to be on top of obedience training because they can be independent thinking, making them more likely to try to solve problems on their own. Another ding on this breed for me is the hair, but grooming is a small price to pay for such an amazing and loving breed. The next breed I have on my list is a Connie Corso. Uh, life expectancy 10 to 12 years, with the weight of a small female being about 88 pounds up to 120 pounds for a large male. The Connie Corso is trainable, has a balanced temperament, uh, and protective, and very courageous. There are a lot of masses on my list, that's because Mastiffs as a group were developed primarily for guarding and protecting while maintaining a strong emotional connection with their family. 
The Conte Corso is an exceptional massive and that is on the largest size but maintains exceptional athleticism. The Conte Corso is versatile in its ability. It can be a close protector like the Bull Mastiff, but also has the athletic ability to do a lot of the running and jumping of smaller breeds. The next breed on my list is the Doberman Pinscher. Life expectancy of 10 to 13 years, weight of about 71 pounds for a small female up to 100 pounds plus for a large male. The Doberman is known for being loyal, fearless, obedient, alert, confident, and intelligent. The Doberman is a great companion and makes an amazing emotional connection with his family. This breed is one of the more energetic breeds on this list, but will do well in a home environment with moderate physical and mental activity. The Doberman is a great mix of size and athleticism, making him physically and mentally an exceptional home protector. The next breed on my list I have is the Bull Mastiff, a life expectancy of about eight to 10 years. Now the reason why I'm including life expectancy with these breeds is because I feel like as a, as a family dog, you're gonna want a long lived dog. Uh, and the Bull Mastiff is one of the lesser lived dogs on this list. But if you can get your dog to 10 years, that's a decent amount of time to have with your family dog. Uh, the weight on the Bull Mastiff is 100 to 130 pounds. Uh, the Bull Mastiff is known for being loyal, devoted, protective, loving, calm, powerful, and courageous. The breed has the size and instincts to take on a man. They were actually developed specifically for this purpose. This breed gets a high Velcro score from me. Now Velcro means to me that you will never have to call your bull master to your side. This breed will stick to his family like glue. And proximity is a great trait for a family companion. The Bull Mastiff has the territorial and protective genetics to be exceptional, to be an exceptional home defender. In addition, it is a relatively low energy breed that won't require a tremendous amount of activity to be happy. Keep an eye on your Bull Mastiff's weight. They are one of the least athletic breeds on my list, but a well-bred and well-conditioned Bull Mastiff is more than athletic enough to protect you and your home. The next breed on my list is the Preston Canario, life expectancy of nine to 11 years. Uh, the breed ranges in weight between 85 pounds for small females, upwards of 130 pounds for a large male. Let me make a quick note. I know that there's a thing right now with Preston's and they're getting up to 170 and 180 pounds. I'm not a big fan of this weight for this breed. At this weight, they appear to be far less athletic and have less drive. Two things that are essential in a, in a proper home protector. All pressers though are suspicious, strong-willed, gentle, and calm, and they can be a bit dominant. The presser is a dicey breed in terms of its temperament and dog aggression, making obedience training and socialization extra important for this breed. On the other hand, a well-bred presser is second to none, uh, but finding a well-bred presser, that can be the issue. The breed has been recently reconstructed and therefore there's not a lot of consistency right now within this breed especially not when you compare it to the other breeds that are on this list. But at its best, the Pressa is comparable to the American Pitbull Terrier in terms of drive, with the natural protective and guarding instincts of an English Mastiff, which make it an exceptional, exceptional home protector. The next breed on my list is the Rottweiler, and I'm sure you guys are tired of seeing Rottweilers on my list, but I love this breed. And as far as home protectors go, they have to be on the list. The breed's life expectancy is 8 to 10 years. Uh, small females weigh between around 77 pounds and large males up to about 130 pounds. The Rottweiler is fearless, good-natured, devoted, obedient, calm, and courageous. This breed can go from teddy bear to grizzly bear in a turn of one bad act, meaning your Rottweiler could be on the sofa cuddling up with you and a second later tearing up an intruder that has broken into your home. Rotties are natural protectors and fearless in battle and this breed's bite force is legendary. The reason why many police departments stopped using Rottweilers is because of the amount of damage that dogs were inflicting on suspects, which created an incredible liability for police departments all over the world. Now I want to take a second to address an issue. I suggested in another video that the Rottweiler be, would be great for single moms. There were several comments claiming that the breed is too much for a woman to own. Guys, it's damn near 2019. Uh, I need you guys to get out your feelings about what women can and cannot do. I meet countless women with Rottweilers, and I've never met a woman with a Rottweiler who had an issue controlling her dog. Rottweilers are amazingly intuitive. They connect with their owners. They are obedient. They are powerful, but if you put in the right infrastructure in terms of obedience training and socialization, anybody can handle a Rottweiler, and they make excellent home protectors.
The next breed on my list is the Giant Schnauzer. A life expectancy of 12 to 15 years, uh, with small females weighing about 60 pounds up to 110 pounds for large males. The Giant Schnauzer is loyal, courageous, highly intelligent, strong-willed, and can be a bit dominant. There is no limit to the capabilities of a well-trained Giant Schnauzer. Obedience, agility, tracking, carding, herding, and home protection are among the jobs that this breed will excel at. Like the Doberman, the Giant Schnauzer is a great mix of size and athleticism. The breed is higher energy than most of the breeds on my list, but does well indoors and makes for a great companion. The Giant Schnauzer is highly intelligent, so with very little effort, you yourself could probably train your Giant Schnauzer to do some advanced protection work. Uh, the Giant Schnauzer has the added benefit of being hypoallergenic, which is great for families who suffer from allergies. The next breed on my list is the Boceron. Life expectancy of 10 to 12 years, uh, weight 66 pounds for a small female, 99 pounds for a large male. The Boceron is fearless, intelligent, protective, and calm. For me, the Boceron is a more family-friendly version of the Belgian Malinois and Dutch Shepherd. It is not as sharp mentally or as high in terms of drive as those breeds, but has more than enough intelligence and drive to be an excellent home protector. It also has the added benefit of being an incredibly loving and emotionally supportive companion. This breed is highly intelligent and amazing at problem solving. Boxer, life expectancy 10 to 12 years, weight 50 pounds to 80 pounds for a large male. The Boxer is devoted, fearless, loyal, energetic, clownish, brave, and confident. The Boxer's energy level is on the higher side for breeds on this list, but the extra activity won't kill you and will probably make you healthier. Boxers are a solid home protector because they are loyal, brave, and fearless and create a strong bond with their families. But the best thing about a boxer is the added humor and light they will bring to your life. They are a good-sized breed with exceptional athleticism and strong protective instincts. And hey guys, the last breed on my list is the German Shepherd. I saved it because I know many of you guys were expecting it. I saved it for last, hoping you guys will stick around and see what was on the list. The life expectancy for this breed is 9 to 13 years. The weight is about 50 pounds for a small female to 90 pounds for a large male. The German Shepherd is loyal, obedient, alert, highly intelligent, confident, curious, watchful, and courageous. With police and military work being a big part of this breed's development for the past 100 years, the German Shepherd is especially equipped with the skill set for home protection. Uh, and working line, characteristics like intelligence, trainability, courage, athleticism, and confidence are highly selected, making today's average working line, German Shepherd, exceptional in these areas. The breed is known for exceptional loyalty, which means you won't have to go looking for your German Shepherd when trouble strikes. He will come looking for you, and he will be more than willing to put himself between you and harm. And like the Giant Schnauzer, German Shepherds are highly intelligent and will easily grasp advanced protection skills that you can teach them yourself. All right, guys, there you have it. That's my list. Great home protectors without the need for a whole bunch of training. I think in that list, you'll find that there's a tremendous amount of uh, fearlessness, courageousness, protectiveness, and athleticism in all of these breeds. And that's, those are basically the foundations and the building blocks that you're going to want in a home protector. If you guys haven't already, please take a second, subscribe to the channel. We have more videos coming, more documentaries coming, more vlogs coming. Uh, and also, you can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, just search Dogumentary TV. All right? Peace.